Hey guys, it's Natalie again. It's been a while since I've done this. Um, you know, I've done bits and bobs, but it's been a while since I just sat in front of of my camera. I know it's not that good, and I know a lot of you say get better ones, but just just give me time, man. I don't know. I'm new to this. I need to learn how to do all the fangle dangle and technical stuff. It's just a raw chat. That's what it always is when I come on here. Um, I've been on Rodney Sias's on and off the pitch. Go and check that out. It's really good. I love going on with Rodney and I love just someone to just come up with the topics and then you do speaking. I think that's what what um, helped me with Rodney and that's why I like to do a lot of stuff not on this, more sort of on talking balls with Gaz. Uh, Radio Manchester. I mean, a lot of you, if you do follow me on the socials, get on it. Nutty Natty B on Instagram and uh, Natalie underscore 17 on the Twitter. If you were following me on those socials, you would see that I was on uh, BBC Radio Manchester with Casey Stoney and that was a, wow, I was, I thought I was going to be late. I was a tiny bit late, but I made it and just standing with and listening to Casey speak at the side of you is just uh, an amazing thing. Listen to her speak about how she's passionate she was speaking, like, how passionately she was speaking about us fans. <laughs> the Barmy Army. I would say she didn't mention it by name, but she said, you know, you can hear him sing, how it drives us on. It's the 12th player on the pitch. Fans love it. She loves it. The whole, you know, I've had conversations with everyone loves it. The whole club loves it. Um, Driving women's football forward, in my opinion, people have different opinions. It's their, you know, their prerogative to, to, you know, not everyone's going to like everything that everyone's doing. But, you know, standing next to Casey, that is a once in a lifetime thing. Um, hopefully, you know, it happens more for me. But if that's, if that's what I've had, I was absolutely nervous. But people have come up to me saying they couldn't tell. It was really good. And I really appreciate it, you know. I'm on that show a lot. Like I said, I'm on Rodney a lot. And I'm on Barmy Army YouTube channel. Um, they, that, I'm doing a lot of things on there, talking to opposition fans. It's really good, you know, just hearing what they've got to say about the game. And that's obviously what I'm going to talk about now. The Chelsea game coming up is a massive game. Um, you know, it's... I'm going to turn this light up, guys. Give me one minute. <laughs> You see, I don't even know how to edit. Um, the Chelsea game coming up is massive. Um, you know, it, it, uh, but I'm, if we hadn't had this international break where you could say, like, I hope none of the players have lost confidence from it because England was very, very poor. Um, but I'll talk about that as well. If we hadn't had this international, it was just Everton, then bang, next week Chelsea, I would have been like, full of it. Um, and obviously they've just announced Sam Kerr, so that's going to be a boost for their club. You know, really changing the game, that sign, and I'll talk about that as well. But I am quietly confident in it. I'm quietly confident that I think since we came into this Super League, we knew it was going to be tough, and we were dealt a really tough hand. Um, but I think playing City we showed in that game, that first game, we were unlucky to lose, you know. And City can say this, that, and they will oh, we'll take around it. No, we were unlucky to lose that, and really we should have won it, to be honest. We had the Jackie Chance, we had Jane Ross, we had others, we had Leah. You know, really, they, they know him truly in their heart they should have won it. Arsenal was different, but there was chances in that Arsenal game. We should have gone 1-0 ahead. Um, but I think by the end... You know, it was it was all Arsenal. They were all over us. They were swamping us. We sat too deep. Um, but we could have got a nil-nil out of that too, I think. Fair enough that we didn't. But, you know, we've never... We've, we've played Arsenal before. Obviously, we played City in the first game. But I think once we played City again, we knew how to play against them. We knew what to do. Um, we knew where their weaknesses were. We knew who to target. <laughs> all these things... And it just came off and it was absolutely brilliant performance. Never seen anything like it from the girls. It was just it was just simple stuff. Passing, moving, tackling, strong. And I think City are a different side to Chelsea. 
I think you can see clearly probably where their weaknesses are. Chelsea, even though you can see where their weaknesses are, uh, Brighton targeted them, got a 1-1. That's sort of maybe the game plan we're going to go with. I, don't, I didn't see that game fully, but I saw the goals. Um, you know, but Chelsea, they could have scored. West Ham scored against Chelsea. Excuse me, guys. But So I think they're there to be scored against. But I think the thing is with Chelsea, like us, they're determined. They, they don't give up. They've got a never-say-die attitude. I'm not saying that others don't, but that's why they're sitting top, because they don't give up. They didn't give up versus Arsenal, and they, kept, they came back and scored two goals. Um, So that's... It's, it's, it's going to be one of them. We're ever going to... I think it's going to be close, but it could then be 3-1, you know, and they could just do us over. Um, but, you know, it's no shame getting beat 3-1 by Chelsea, in my opinion. No shame at all. Um, I don't think it will be 3-1. I'm moving for a draw. Um, I'm moving for a win. But, you know, I don't want to say, oh, it's going to be this or it's going to be that because, you know, at least with City, that second game, I knew we were going to win. I went on the radio and said we were going to win. I said it to all the girls. I said it to Katie. I said it to Jess. I said it to Jackie. I said it to Hayley. We're going to win this game. But what you need to do is you need to press them. Press Steph. Press Kira. Do this. Do that. So you could see. Even I could see what, what was to do against them. And they went out and did it. With this team, Chelsea now, I don't, I don't know. And I'm, I'm not. A, that's why I'm not a gaffer. That's why Gaffer's doing what she's doing. But I think she showed versus Arsenal that she can compete against the best. It was a lot better, that Arsenal performance, than what we had uh, last year. So it's just shown how much we've grown. Hopefully everyone's fit, ready to go. Because um, that's what we need. We need everyone to be on the, the A game. You know, see if L LJ, she's on fire at the minute. So, But is this a game when you play LJ? She, she wasn't, you know, the City first game, you know, it was there and thereabouts. Arsenal, she was isolated up top. So do you play... Um, LJ in this game or do you bring on Jess who's going to work her way across all the back four and you know have that pace in behind you know that's what she did versus City so it's, that's what she could do now you know Jackie played that wonderful through ball versus Reading and is that the kind of game plan you're going to go for listen I don't know because we never played them before if it was at Lynn I would be more confident because you know even though I'm not worried about the girls going out to an away game like they've said an away game is like a home game anyway because the Parmi Army are there making noise making people know that we're there putting pressure on the opposition home or away so I'm not bothered in that respect it's just the home comforts we know Lee they know what to do at Lee they know where they're going to go they know this they know that they're going to come from home in the cars, park up, go into the ground, speak to Gaffer. This is where they go. Turn left, turn right, wherever it is for the train, for the change room. They know the spot. You know things like that. They know the, how how high the grass is cut. They know this. I don't think Chelsea are going to play games like that. It's going to be a very good pitch, but little things make a difference. Small margins. Um, so I hope it don't work against them. And like you say, Barmy Army is one of them small margins. You know, we're going to be behind that goal. We've all got our tickets and we're going to make it hell for that goalkeeper. And we're just going to be on it from the start, banging, singing, loud, proud, like we always are. And, you know, people say this, that and the other, but I'm going out there for my girls. And if we we are the 12th player. That's not, it's not if we can be, we are. You've heard your you manager say it. So hopefully I see lots of you down there making loads of noise. You know, it's needed every single person. They need to know. Um, but that's the Chelsea. I'm, 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 I'm hyped for it. I'm hyped. Um, but I just want to go back as well to the England um, saying, you know, you know, people are like, oh, you can't say it's poor. But listen, it was. They know. <laughs> you know, I don't need to tell them it was. It was. And I think a lot of them players should be playing again. I'm not saying all of them, but... You know, people like Kira Walsh is the first time I've proper seen a, what she can do, but it was in fits and spurts. Um, I think she needs a proper defensive midfielder behind her so she can roam the ball, you know, have space. Um, people are saying Jade Moore, why not? Because she came to Reading and that's what they need. They need some guile, they need some fight, they need some bite in that midfield. I like uh, Jill Scott, she's really good, but she's not going to provide it. It needs to 
to get gone. Jordan Nobbs, good player, moving around, but listen, you can tell she's half fit, so why the hell has she come straight back in the team? It, it, it's beyond my belief, I don't know. You know, maybe put a Katie in there instead of Jordan because she's not playing great for Arsenal. Yeah, she might have got a goal this, that, never, but she's not, like, doing a thing, so why is she playing when there's some pe people out there doing a lot better? Uh, I'd even say, you know, I get why they're not playing her, but play LJ. Just in that number 10, why not? What is? What are you going to miss? You know, even if she's on the bench, bring her on for 10 minutes, she can do things that other people can't do. You know, a lot of people say, Hem, Stanway, get them on the pitch then, get them on the pitch. But even um, in Czech, I didn't think they were that good anyway. Um, it's, it's, it's a problem. That is going to be there when you're being told who to pick, who you can and can't pick, central contract. And to be honest, I think that dressing room is probably dictating to him rather than the other way around. You know, he did want to bring in Leah. I'm with Leah. Stay out of it. Stay out of it. You're enjoying your football. Just carry on doing, doing what you're doing. You know, they said it on BBC. Oh, we couldn't even find five people to step up. And then Paris is stepping up again, even though she's missed. And she's getting rollicked off the media. I couldn't believe it. I thought, how are you, other people letting her just do this? Letting her take the rap? No chance, no chance. That's not my team. You know, I want England to do well because obviously we have got Mary there. We've got Abby there. You know, half our team are looking to get into that England team. So when they're there, I'm going to be supporting them. So I want England to do well. You know, they don't have to qualify for the Euros. But you can't play that team in the Euros. You're just going to get... You're going to stink out the place. So it's time to make some changes. Um, even if you just trial people for a few games each, you need to do something because it's, it's, it's disgusting, to be honest. But I don't know. He's safe for now. Let him do what he's doing. He needs to be able to, to work it himself. You know, not get told, not be said. So-and-so's on the centre. He needs to tell the FA who he wants to pick. Um... You know, let me know, guys, what you want us to talk about. I know I've been off it for a while, but I'm back. I'm always willing to talk. If anyone wants to link up and join me for a conversation, I know how to use um, Skype now, so I can Skype call you. I'm just buzzing for Sunday. We need to be on it. Fans, 12th player out there. But hopefully the players are on it. I want to just see the passion, mate, running out of you. Seen it all season, so do it again. Come on, girls. United. See you down at King's Meadow, guys. Two o'clock kickoff. Got it all confirmed. So we'll be on the bus. Still one space left for the bus, so hit, hit us up. Um, Barmy Army Travel. We're collecting as well for West Ham. So if you want to come down, you like what the girls are doing, come show some support. Come on, the Reds.